Howdy y'all and welcome to Lux Lives. I think it's time to play a little Infitech 2. Uh, so, I uh, let my day get away from me today. So, I, I haven't even been down here today. Um, and uh, I did finish my... Uh, right? I've got two fuel rods. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got to make a bunch of other stuff too. Which is not in the quest book, uh, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that one advanced bit I've got will work. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to remake my remake. Oh, I gotta make a robot arm, right? Robot arm. And I need EV robot arm. So I need titanium rods. I need one of those, three of those. You know, I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of those already made. Uh, but I've got more chips, so that's not that's not even an issue, right? Whoops, I know how to make titanium rods, thanks. Um Processor board, data storage chips, right. Uh, I'll bet I don't have the silicon to do this, because I am always out of the old silicon. Uranites, dark ashes, really? I don't have any... No, 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 it doesn't go in there anyways, it comes out of this. Mmm... Tungsten, carbon, oh dude, alright, well, let's go see if I got some more clay then somewhere, uh, let me unload some of this uh, dust, I'm not using, I'm not using that, why don't you hold on to, oh, I got some MV sensors in there too from one of those uh, quest things. But let me run down and take a look at... Uh, whoa, that is not the way down. Let me go take a look at... Um, Alright, so... Let's see if we got some clay down here. I wonder if I got some clay dust already made upstairs. I know I did this once already. Uh, yeah, I must have grabbed all the clay. Yeah, I don't see any down in here. Okay, well... Uh, shoot. And you know what? I don't have my jetpack on. I took it off because the radiation was killing me. Alright, let's, so let's go get my... Let's get my jetpack back on. Uh, clay. I got some clay right here. Maybe I don't need my jetpack. Maybe I can get enough from this. You don't get a lot is the problem from the clay. And, uh... First, you gotta turn it into clay blocks. And then you take it over to the grinder. And then, apparently the grinder's all full. And then you have it grind up some clay dust. Really, this is full? Man. Apparently I got a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in here. Uh, Nickel dust. There's that canthal dust. Remember I was looking for canthal dust? I do have one in there. I got such a mess going on. I need to just get in here and process all this stuff so it's not in my way. Okay. And then we take the clay dust over to here. Oh, there's some clay dust in here. Because uh, it just takes a bit more than the whatever I had in there. Okay, there we go. 
Give me some silicon cooking. Did you turn on? Yep. Whew. I was wondering. I was wondering about that. I uh, I let my batteries run dry. Or I thought I had let my batteries run dry when I was making the tungsten steel. Uh, or is it just tungsten? No, yeah, it's tungsten steel. I saw the battery, or I saw the machine had shut off, and I wasn't sure if I had um, lost an ingot or not. So that makes me feel better that I hadn't lost an ingot. I do want to get my proper outfit back on here, though, so I can fly. Uh, okay, I do have one in here. Okay, let's grab this. Get that going. Uh, did I... I think I just made up... Uh, hydrogen. And then this has got to have the hydrogen to cook up more of this. Lots of processing. Okay, and then once this has got some ingots of silicon done, now I can get this over here and okay. Now, what I need is I need one of these. All right, so I need two plates for that, and I need three of these, which are those and those, engraved. Oh, I already have some made. Dude. I just need the engraved chips, and I have a ton of those. Uh, and I need my Teflon. Um, is my Teflon over here? Uh, no. I need Teflon. Uh, Teflon? Nope. Look! Right there's silicon plates. Man. Where's my... There it is. Polytetrafluorochloride... What is that? <laughs> Polytetrafluoroethylene plates. That's what they are. Polytetra fluoroethylene. Uh, Alright. So, what I need is one of those which is I believe that's in the this guy, right? Yeah. So, I need two of these and one of these okay and then I need one of these and these okay and then I need three of those I've already forgotten what machine that goes in. The assembler, All right? So then I need one, two, three, three. Ah, I was kind of hoping maybe I had enough in there. No, it takes a full ingot. Wow. Because I didn't realize that. All right. So then we take those and we take those, and then you need couple of those and bang there's my control circuit uh, so for the piston I need one two three four five six seven eight nine and 
I need 18 titanium plates. I got seven. I've got seven. I actually need titanium ingots as well. Um... Ugh, I can't believe I broke that thing. It was so dumb. I just had a brain fart there, I guess. Oh, I got so much titanium. I was thinking I didn't have any titanium. I've got so much. All right. Oh man, I, I ruined one. See that? It ran out of battery while I wasn't looking. Ruined. I hate that some of the machines do that and the other ones don't and I forget to pay attention to which is which. Sucks. That's uh, That takes a bit of a processing, processing to do. Processing. Look, all that, I got five out of this. Five, because I run out of hydrogen. I really need to move that over someplace where I can get more power. I'm not ready to run more tungsten through, because tungsten takes forever. I'm also surprised this battery ran out that fast. You just suck the power down. Who's got my batteries? You got one. I'm stealing yours for right now. Because I need three titanium ingots worth of rods. So if we can get that. Come on, spit me on another another hot ingot here. Um, and then, yeah, MV is as good as I got in here. LV bits. Let me check. I'm pretty sure the, I'm pretty sure we looked at this the other day, and the only EV bits I have are these emitters, which barely give you anything useful back. So, uh, yeah. Yep. I have a few HV things, but... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I got nine titanium ingots in there right now already. Okay, we'll turn these over. Oh yeah, look at that. Three more coil blocks. Kind of excited to get this done because I'm pretty sure this is more more speed on that thing, so. I've only got three more to go. Can't remember if advanced is high enough to do titanium. Oh, it is. What was it I did the other day? That uh, tungsten steel, I guess. Can I have that other titanium ingot, please? Did I put three in there? No. Mm. You saw me put three titanium ingots in there, right? Where's my other titanium ingot? 
you cheating thing. It must have put one through before I looked in there and grabbed those that I turned into plates, I'll bet. Okay, so there are those rods. I also need uh, neodymium rods. I remember making up neodymium dust. I've got one. I've got one magnetic, so I'm going to need one more. Somewhere, though, I've got... Is it in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good there. I'm just going to turn all these into rods because I'm always using neodymium rods. And this is the one that I couldn't... Nope. It's tungsten steel because I tried to make a tungsten steel um, shaft for my hammer when it had to be steel. So... Yep, that's all right. I think I need three of those anyways. Right? Yeah, because I need three motors. Uh, so I actually need one more ingot of tungsten through there. Uh, all right, so you polarize those. I'm going to get one more ingot of that. And... I guess we'll have to wait for this to go through. Come on, hurry up. Somebody was coming to talk to me, but I don't know what the deal was. They turned the light, came part way down the stairs, we're talking, turn around my back, whatever. Uh, okay, Let's see how many of these I can get out of here. Eight. Uh, that's two. That's two. Uh, so I need. This should get me two more, or no, one more, right? No, uh, four, yep, that's 12. That's just enough. I have just enough annealed wire on me. Okay, and then these are made with the aluminum wire, which I dumped in here. I've got five left. That's not enough, so I'm going to have to make some aluminum wire. Um, okay. Which means I'm going to need some rubber as well. Let's see how the battery's doing on this. Now yeah, they're good. Okay. Uh, wire mill. And then I'm also going to need the 24 guy here. I think this is how you make the wire. I think it's all the same at this point, right? So aluminum goes in, and then we hit it with... Let's go ahead and do that. I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually end up using, but obviously I'm going to need aluminum wire, or aluminum cable. Okay. Now, I think that gets, that gets me all, gots me, that gots me all the pieces uh, I need for these motors, so. Three of those... Six of, or, well, I guess that's 12 of those, six of those, three of these, six of these, whoops. Okay, there's the motors. Um, so then I also need to make this thing. Uh, so I need three titanium plates, two titanium rods, 
uh, electric motor which I just made, two aluminum cables, and one of these which is a plate. So that's uh, one plate with the hammer. That's uh shoot. I have to look again, I don't remember. Right. Uh one I just made the motors. There they are. One motor, two of these, three of these, two of these. Okay, one piston. And then I need pretty sure it's made with these. I'm going to need the uh, plates I cooked over here. Ugh, this is so much work. And all I had to do was use the wrench correctly. And I wouldn't have had to do any of this. Okay, there's my casing. There's my polyethylene sheets. There's my two wires. Okay, now... Uh, let me see what all I've got to have for this thing. Uh, nuclear... Isn't it called? Yeah, right here. Oh, right, I gotta do the dense lead plates. Dang it, I forgot about those. Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot about the dense lead plates. Oh, you know what? I have dense lead plates. Uh, I just need six of these. And one of these. Okay, okay, look at that. We're good, we're good. Uh, so one reactor chamber... Uh, six lead plates, including the ones that don't want to stack. Oh, you stack now, weirdos. Um, <clears throat> I totally didn't make the robot arm. Right. Right, what goes in this robot arm? Uh, I need two more... Two more iron, ten titanium, ten. Two more titanium, titanium rods. There we go. Okay. Weird. Let's see if I can just. Nope. Dang it! <laughs> I was. Hoping just to put these straight in there. Uh, I've already forgotten what goes in this. Right. Two and three of these. <clears throat> okay, there's the robot arm. I need this guy. Okay, so it was this guy, this guy, this guy, and these. Alright, so one nuclear reactor. Uh, 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 dang it. Whew. I just wanted to check. I just wanted to check. Okay, one fuel rod, one advanced heating thingy, uh, one nuclear reactor. Okay, and then we're going to go away from my base because I've never used one of these and I don't want it to explode in the middle of my base. And I don't want to have to make that again right now, so I'm going to run a backup just in case. Alright, so we're going to do slash backup. 
we're going to place the nuclear reactor down. I'm going to place in a heat vent. And I'm going to place in a fuel rod. Uh, I think it needs a lever, too. Hold on, I'll be right back. Somewhere, uh, I'm pretty sure I've got levers. There's a lever right there. All right, let's try this again. Now, I know it produces heat, and so you need the vent thing to remove the heat. Um, and I think, I think one vent is enough to... One advanced vent is enough to pull away the heat. At least on the normal version. That's why I'm over here, because who knows what it's like on here, right? Okay. It turned on. It turned on. My core is staying at zero. I have 10 EU. So each of these is going to give me 10 EU. Per tech. Not bad. Now that's because I'm in nuclear reactor in EU mode. Uh, which I think there's a way to turn it into producing heat mode. That's cool. It didn't explode. So, awesome. Now... Let's see if I can pull this up. There we go. I almost did it again. Did you see that? Totally mashing the wrong buttons. It's just a shift right click, man. You know how wrench works? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this in. I'm going to hook this into my power system. And then I'm going to have to make more vents so that I can put in more rods so I can produce more EU per tick from it. So I actually think I'm going to put it over here. Uh, because this is... Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, wait, wait. This is producing... Industrial craft EU. I need a converter. I need a EU uh I need an EU Hmm it tells me, right? It told me what I need. Uh, okay, dense lead plates. Uh, boom, 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 boom. The, uh, the extra chamber I have can be used to expand the space in there, so I could add even more power. So a nuclear reactor is a power generation machine. Uh, since nuclear reactors are produced IC2EU... It needs to be converted to GTEU to convert IC2EU to GT5EU. Simply connect uh, a GT transformer input. Okay. So I need a GT... No, I just need a transformer. Transformer. Isn't that what I've got over there? Isn't that what this is? I'm pretty sure that's what this is already right here that I'm running 
power into. Yeah, this is a HV transformer. So can I just put my my reactor here then? Okay, we don't actually want you to be putting stuff in there and cause... No, not insert. Dang it. Disabled. Leave it undisabled. You didn't do anything weird, did you? Okay. So I'll put this in here and this in here. I'm going to go get my other... My other... Um, fuel rod and see if this thing is good enough to handle two fuel rods. Yeah, so far so good. So now... The only problem is, is I don't know how this thing works. So, are you... Yeah, I don't think that's actually putting power in. Now, those are the input dots, but I might have this facing the wrong way. Just give me a second here while I try to figure this out. Uh, so, if I face it this way with the back toward the thing... And then I put in a fuel rod and a fuel rod and then the lever. Okay, now does that seem like it's producing? Maybe? I guess what I need to do is I need to shut these down. So that they're not producing. Okay, so now no power should be coming from the turbines. Where are you? What are you doing? You're on your... You say you're producing. You're next to a transformer. That's a GT transformer. I, I guess I don't know where the... The power output on this thing is. Is it on the bottom? How do I get power out of this thing? Is it on the top? No, you don't need to be trying to pull things out of my deal here. Okay, so let's try it from the bottom then. And swap some things around here. Where's my lever? Okay. How are you doing now? Still not receiving power as far as I can tell. Can I get everything out of this just by doing that? Yeah. Okay. Well, then what about from the top? Do you work then? You. You. 
you. This is, uh, it's going to be a little annoying here. I'm getting tired of working on this thing, trying to figure out where the power comes from. Oh, I'm an idiot anyways. The only thing that would be receiving power is this. It is. Okay. It's working. It's working. Okay, so it's working. It's working, except I don't want to feed power into that. I want to feed power into that. So you are a... A two, which is the 512, right? Yeah, that's why you're connected directly into those. So I would need another high-voltage transformer. I already have transformer up. High voltage is just some gold cables and an HV machine hull. I don't have one of those, right? I got MV machine hull. All right, well, at least I know it works, so it works. I can get power from it. Uh, I just have to make some more parts and some more things, and uh, let me take a look at it real quick here. So if every... Every let me get uh let me get this uh other chamber here to make sure this works like I think it does. Provided I can still make the advanced heat things, because I made that a long time ago while working on um I made this a long time ago while working on the jetpack that I use that you can't make. You, <laughs> you could at one point, but you can't now. So, um, so if I've got one of these and it ha can handle two, I don't know how many of these it can handle. I don't know how much the advanced heat vent works. But let's say it can handle four. Uh, and I can get 10, 20, 30, 40... Um, And I can fit another one in here. I think that's it. I think I can just handle those. So I could get 10, 20, 30, 40. I could get 80 EU per tick. Um, oh, if I put one here, though, then I can get another three in here. Uh, so I get like 120 EU per tick out of just what I have. That's not bad. Um, all right, with that, click like, what you like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later.